What's up guys? I'm coming back to you with another video. Um, a lot of things have happened since uh, last video about me weighing my lures. Uh, I went to a Lucky Craft um, event that happened in Dana Point. Uh, well, we had two new lures. I don't have them on me right now. I'll show them in another, in another video later on. Um, it was a uh, 110 a spa, Sparkle Berry and a 110 Sparkle Berry uh, MS. Um, and then we had a Fred Hall show that just came through. Uh, it ends today. The, today's uh, Sunday, uh, March 8th. Um, for me, the Fred Hall show is um, always a good time. Uh, I get to see a lot of you guys. I got to, I get to see a lot of my old, my friends. It's people I haven't seen in a long time. You get good deals on stuff. Uh, you get to you know fondle all the reels and stuff that they have there. Um, they, they, it's just a good time all the way around. And honestly, usually at the at the Fred Hall show, Mark's usually like the peak halibut season. Uh, for me, it's usually been the peak halibut season. Um, and then use every year if I get a chance to go to the Fred Hall show, I usually pick up certain big items, uh, rods, uh, reels, or uh, you know lures, just just to fill me out through the rest of the year. This year though, um, the truck I drive it it laughed at me and blew a water pump, so all my funds had to go towards that, and uh, I didn't get to get a, a rod this year. I did get some other items, and I'll, sh I'll show you that right now. So, first off, I, I went to the Daiwa booth. Uh, they have the Saltiga reels there. I was looking at what size and stuff. They have, you know, they have, like, this uh, promotion thing where you see, like, how it works and the stacked uh, drag washers and stuff and, you know, the body styles, uh, what size they have. Um, so, I, I got some, uh, you know reading material here these these are the higher end saltigas man um they changed up the sizing ratios uh they have the 8000 all the way to 20000 so the 20000 reels are like they're huge reels man um very well made um you can see the price points right here on on some of these reels you can see what they what they go for and they're pretty high end reels so this is just uh basically real porn um let me see what else did I get. Uh, I got this one right here. This is a big book. This is a Dial Fishing Tackle. It has all their, you know, reels. And then it has, uh, you know, rods too. It has all their uh, Tatula series rods. And then their coastal rods and stuff. I'm going to have this one in the restroom too so I can read through. Because um, some of the rods, guys, and some of the reels, I don't mind. I do have an issue, though, with their mag, se mag sealed reels. Uh, if you don't have access to their um, their magnetic oil, the one they use to uh, seal off their bearings, if you don't have access or know how to use it or know how to, you know, work on that type of stuff with non-magnetic tools, usually uh, it could get pretty dicey of uh, trying to repair your own reels. So most of the time, whenever you get like one of their mag mag sealed reels, uh, let me see where's their mag sealed reels. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. Some of their reels are just, they just look really good. Um, let me see. See, these are the mag sealed reels right here. Here's the mag sealed reels right here, guys. Um, if you don't have access to the to that stuff to be able to fix your reels and stuff, you're not you're you're pretty messed up for trying to repair your your reels especially like the saltist which is mag sealed it says right there mag sealed right there on the saltist um you're pretty you're pretty much uh screwed on that repairing some of the reels that's that's why i i usually go with pen because you don't need none of that stuff to be able to repair them uh another buy i made guys i stopped at the long beach fishing supply booth Five for twenty bucks, um, can't go wrong. Uh, very good, crazy colors here, like this orange one right here with the bright orange bottom. Uh, this black one with the scales. Uh, let me see, this lighter orange one right here. This pink one right here. This is gonna be a really good barracuda killer right here. Barracudas, for some odd reason, they they seem to just 
go after anything that's purplish, reddish. Uh, they seem to just die from uh, this reddish color as well right here with a black tail. It has a black tail on it. Pretty good colors. Uh, this is the packaging it comes in. All their uh, um, Kaiva lures, all the 110 Kaiva lures. Um, just to open up one for you guys on camera. See, there you go. See, black tail, white bottom. See that? Big lip right there, split ring. Usually I remove the split rings myself because I use a tactical angle power clips. But yeah, um, these right here, pretty good. I like these lures a lot. Uh, best bang for your buck in town. Uh, support, you know, local shops if, you, if possible. Um, and Jimmy Kaivo is, you know, local in California. If you can't, if you can't get them, you know, at his shop, uh, order them online, guys. Uh, he has them online. It's usually four for twenty, but at the show he usually has the five for twenty. Um, so that was one of the buys I made right there. And put these to the side as well. At Jimmy Kaivo's shop, he had these right here. He had these right here for. Uh, this is, I, I like this color a lot, this purple color. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it looks pretty good. Um, he calls it Long Beach Sea Cobra. He gets what he calls it. This is a half ounce right here. Um, a good Barracuda Killer right here. Good, good halibut bait too as well on the half ounce. And then he has like this speckled trout green, blue color right here. Very good color. Um, this is a three quarter ounce, which I like the fact that they're both the same size, right? Different thicknesses. I like that. I I, I honestly like that. Um, it'll obviously you're gonna have to swim it just a little bit faster uh, for these, but he had he had these for I think it was two dollars each, two dollars each. I only picked up two because I already have a, a plethora of myself of, of of these lures, so they're very good lures, guys. I. I, I wanted to pick these up. Uh, another one I picked up from Kaivo is this one right here. This is, a, this is one of his uh, 4D battle jigs. That's, that's what he calls them, 19 grams. Uh, I think this is three quarter ounce maybe? Yeah, three quarter ounce, 19 grams. Um, very good jig. Uh, on those super windy days, guys, I like to throw this jig right here. This jig right here, something shiny, flat, you know. Um, I'll just launch it into, you know, deep water, let it flutter down, let it do its thing, let it flutter all the way down. Try not to hit the floor and then just jig up, jig up, and then just jig up, and then you'll be able to get, get something pretty good. Um, he had a, a wall, and this is, I think this one's going to dark, it says right there, going to dark, so he had a wall of these guys, a wall, like a huge wall full of, full of lures like this. Another one I picked up from Kaivo. Um... I've been messing around with these spinner baits right here. I'm gonna open up, uh, let me see, which one should I open up? Uh, this one looks cool right here. But uh, he had these uh, three for 20 on this. On this, I got two three quarter ounce and one half ounce right here. Um, I've been messing around with these, the the Jigpara ones, uh, but these are different shaped bodies, fatter, and I think this one glows too at the bottom. That paint looks like it'll glow. Uh, but I'm just gonna open up one of these so you can see the detail on some of this stuff. Uh, you know, price for quality, guys. I mean, you you are gonna get what you pay for. He doesn't have like different hole places. He has a stronger split ring than the Jig Paras. I like that. I like this right here. He has a stronger. I would. I still remove the split rings though because I use, I attach my tactical angular power clips. But he has like these 3D eyes. He has like these 3D eyes right there. And then it has like a, it does have a shimmery body. You can see that on camera. And then it has a the tail right here. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about quality here, guys. I mean, you're paying, you see that? That's not correct, that's not correctly on there. So you're, you are paying for, uh, I mean, a, a certain type of quality, but I mean, I would change this out. 
I would change the split ring out for a better split ring. Even though, I mean, this is still just a tail end and it spins and stuff, but um, that's what I would do. See, this is the this is the bottom end of it right here. Pretty good. He puts co hook covers on his stuff. That's, that's really good, guys. It's really good when you hang them. This one does hang a little bit high. Right here, it does hang a little bit high, a little bit nose top. But that's okay though. That's okay. It's a single hook from the back, so the hook is gonna be right there while it's swimming, usually. And then uh, we'll see how these these go, guys. And I, I got three of those, three for twenty dollars uh, on on these on these uh, lures right here. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. Uh, two three quarter ounces and one half ounce for that one. Uh, get these out of the way another buy guys uh i mean these right here were from the uh optimum baits at uh booth i like these because they have the 3d eyes see these 3d eyes on both sides they have these like white colors and stuff the, the split tails um they have the openings for the hooks and stuff so you can hide the hooks inside uh, I usually do these on drop shots with longer hooks that come up to the back right here because um, it'll it'll sustain the bait because these are real soft bait so if you if you just hook the head right here it's gonna have like this real soft wobbly body to it but if you hook it about right there it'll it'll suspend it way better so I got a couple of few colors I got like this I got a couple of few of those I got like this smelt color right here I'll probably take some scissors. And clean some of these off right here. Uh, I think he had these uh, for a dollar each at the. But there's like a purple hue to this one. I like that. It has like this hue. I think it's coming up on camera. But yeah, it has like this purple, nice purple hue to it. I, I, this is gonna be a good one right here. This smell color here, with that purple, phew, that's gonna be good. Uh, I got another one of those. Uh, another one of those right there, and another one of these. So I got five of those. Um, I don't drop shot that much guys, but when I do, I like to use like these, these right here or like the gulp, um, mullets and then three or four inch or, or five inch. I like to use those, but that's another buy I made. Um, and then glasses guys, I picked up a fresh new pair of bombers. So I like these a lot myself. Uh, the, these bombers, they float, they're polarized. Uh, it was $50. For the case, the glasses, and a soft case so you could use to clean off too. Um, and just to show you guys the difference, this is my original pair of bombers. You can see the lenses are completely just trashed, all scratched up. Big a big scratch right there. Uh, you're gonna just, you see a light flare right there, but uh, big scratch right here. They're just completely trashed. Um, the foam's held up pretty well here. This is my original pair. And this is a new pair I got, just so you can see the difference here. Um, yeah, you can see the difference there. This is my new pair. Uh, this one I'm gonna be using for work and for you know messing around and stuff, or you know, for mostly for work. This is gonna be my driving pair now and my fishing pair now um you guys could knock and just to show you guys how the plastic holds up look this is the bomber insignias um if you're trying to figure out what model this is these are the mana mana bombs right there yeah mana bombs that's what they're called this is what this model is um this is the ice uh i think this is the ice uh coating right there they're very good glasses. If you drop them in the water, they will float. They will not sink. Um, this is one year's worth, guys, right here, of saltwater abuse. Okay, guys? One year's worth of saltwater abuse. You could tell me anything you want about, you know, oh, the, I like Oakleys. I like. If you guys are on a boat where you guys are not dealing with sand, yeah, take the Costas, take the Oakleys. Take all those glasses. If you're on the surf with sand, white water splashing on your lenses, and you're wiping your lenses off, 
you know, trying to wipe them off with your shirt or whatever. And there's still, you know, particles of sand in here and you're trying to rinse them off and stuff. It doesn't matter what brand of glasses you have. You're going to you're going to completely scratch all your lenses. It doesn't matter if it's Oakley, Costas. It doesn't matter. Within one year, there goes a three hundred or four hundred dollar pair of sunglasses. And then you're going to have to buy another pair the following year. I'd rather pay $50 every year for a pair of these that'll last me one whole year that I'm going to end up trashing by the end of the year because I use them in the, in the sand and the surf. And then when he Fred Hall show comes around again, I'm just going to pick up another pair. Okay, guys. So this pair is now for work. It's still work. And by the way, guys, they're pretty durable. When I was working on my truck, getting it to work again, I completely slammed the hood of my truck on the um on on this side right here, and I completely bent it out, and it it was perfectly fine. I just when I realized that I had set my my glasses on the on the hood of the car on the inside, and I slammed the thing, all I did was just like kind of squished it. And then they rebound it. These they, they're very durable, guys. Super lightweight, very durable. Uh, I highly recommend these glasses for for the surf guys. I highly recommend for the, these glasses. Um, it, I mean, it came with a case. It came with a cleaning thing, so you could put them inside. Uh, I have the same case and the cleaning thing for these two. But uh, I mean, obviously, they. I mean, you know, you trash them and stuff. So that's my haul for Fred Hall show. Uh, I'm also going to be making a video pretty soon of not tying, you know, using tactical angler power clips, um, different, you know, things. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, guys. I see a couple of you guys, you know, watching these videos without subscribing. Just give me a quick subscribe, guys. That's 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 all I'm asking for, you know, so you guys could get your notifications of when I make my videos and stuff so yeah guys i'll see you guys in the water you hear me i'll see you guys in the water hmm hmm later